Mr. Speaker, the, mayor, the member of Shidiac Capelli knows that there's not one municipality in New Brunswick that will be in deficit. They're not allowed. Under legislation, you cannot have a deficit. So again, to his question, we are working on local governance reform. People have been advocating for 25 years, Mr. Speaker. We are working with the RSCs. We are working with municipalities. Transition teams are making tough decisions. Yes, it's budget time. It's normal. It's a tis and tat. That's normal. But we are going to move forward. We have a special election on the 28th of November. If people want to put their names for candidates, it's on October 28th at 2 p.m., so make sure they're there and have a say on their community. Because representing this community is a great honor, as many of people, the MLAs here have done. So, Mr. Speaker, we are going to work in partnership with the municipalities and our team. I can assure you that. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, the only person in New Brunswick who is uh, creating fear is the member for Shidiak-Bobsankabili. When I talk to the associations, they're talking positively. The only parts, the only people are talking about uh, cuts are on the other side of this house. We, there is, there's whether it's from the gallery or from the others. I tell you, we are going to work with the people of New Brunswick to make sure that when it comes to finances, we said that we will look to that. When the Minister of Finance uh, gives us his budget, then we will work together. And The only people who will make speculations and hypotheses or fear-mongering are the ones on the other side of the House. Okay. Mr. Speaker, on the contrary, reform is in the white paper that with our equalization system, the member for Shidiak Bobazan Capari, he knows that he was at the um, uh, he was at the meetings of the municipalities. He heard the mayors, and there's no inequality with the equalization system. And Mr. Speaker, when it comes to reforming local government, there are four uh, uh, pillars, structure, regional collaboration, planning everything, and re-looking at the finances. For 25 years, we've been waiting for this. And if we still had the, the, if we listened to the liberals, everything would still be on pause. Mr. Speaker, we are an active government. And we are, we've had a, a growth and we've heard in the throne speech yesterday, we want to move ahead. And we want to go ahead with the communities and the citizens of New Brunswick.